good everyone you know we've been giving you different um aside and topics on immigration how to travel abroad wherever uh, you are uh, all over the world how you can migrate successfully we've been talking about it if you watch all our youtube videos you are going to see them uh, most especially to africans nigerians so you can always uh, uh, check all our youtube channel all the youtube videos learn one or two things about them and all you know we have our phone number so you can get in touch with us you can also send us mail we are going to respond to you in Tejuro Less Global Consult. So I remain Leo Konaro Shaye, like I said. Uh, I'm the founder of Tejuro Less Global Consult, a world uh, travel consulting firm where we help people migrate abroad successfully. So if you are the returning subscriber, kindly comment, like our post. And if you are a new person on this channel, don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to subscribe. Thanks so much. And then you are going to learn a lot here. And uh, you are going to benefit from this channel. So today, I want to talk about this news that is going on about Germany trying to learn how Canada are doing the point-based immigration system. So Canada, they've been doing it for years. And it has been successful. So... Germany wants to learn about it. So what do we think uh, we should be expecting if this thing uh, actually goes through? What are the things the German government will likely going to use? What are the things they will likely going to learn from the Canadian government? And what are, what are the advice we can advise the German government to do to help them on this uh, journey uh, they need? So we all, if you read, uh, you can always uh, Google about this. You can always learn about this. The German government um, need around 400,000 uh, uh, people uh, yearly. So they need about 400,000 immigrants uh, yearly. Skilled immigrants. Skilled, you understand? So don't forget that word. So the German government really need um, around 400,000 people per year. And these are the people that are going to do this job. So they need ski workers. Ski workers. Over 400,000 uh, ski workers yearly from now till, uh, till 2030, according to the uh, German government. So how will you benefit from this? Do you have something you can offer the German government? How are you positioning yourself to be among the lucky ones that will migrate to Germany through this point-based system? If eventually they implement it so for example let's look at the german uh, system i mean let's look at the canadian first before we now move to german oh, let's talk about the canadian system you know normally for canada let's use uh relocation to canada through the job uh express entry for example and other ones they have they use age they use the language and they use the skill, like what are your qualifications? So those are the things I also think the German government will make use of. For example, let's talk about the skills. Are you a graduate? Do you have a postgraduate uh, certificate? For example, now you are a graduate. Uh, have you tried to also work uh, in different sectors in what you are doing? For example, let's say you are a construction engineer for example, like a civil engineer, for example, have you worked in that field for about five years? I'm sure the German government might consider that part if you are working in a particular field and how many years have you worked in that field? I'm not sure if they're going to use minimum of five years or minimum of two years or three years, but I'm sure if you are talking about skill, they're going to want to know how many years have you worked in a particular uh uh, job or particular uh, skill that you are claiming that you have so they will want to know if you truly know about this job or not and i'm sure it is by years of experience Either, like, so we are not sure if they are going to use the five years experience three years experience two years experience or they are going to go as far as 10 years experience but i'm sure they might not want to go up to that level so let's also talk about what we should expect when it's come to age or uh, like now we have an offer from germany we are to recruit uh, we are to recruit uh, workers to a particular company and they gave us that 
we should not go uh, beyond 30 years. So 18 to 30 is what this particular company is requesting. So if you are interested in engineering, you can let us know. We are going to talk about that. Uh, that's another thing entirely. So, but I'm just using this uh, company template, for example. They want 18 between 30 years. So we don't know if when the German government uh, want to start their own, they also have uh, this age restriction. We are not sure yet. You understand? We are not sure. I'm just using an example of a company, but I don't think the age... I'm, I'm sure that the age will also count, but I don't think uh, age 35 or 36 will also be a problem. You understand? So, But at least I'm talking from a company that wants us to recruit. They gave us up to 30 years. So... So that means if you are younger, it might also benefit you. This new system the German government is trying to learn, age will also play a crucial part. If you are younger and you are skilled, I'm sure it will help you. Also, uh, let's talk about uh, the family. So, you know, the uh, Canadian system really supports family. Uh, they allow you to bring in your family and all to Canada if you are qualified for this. So we are also looking at, in case, if uh, Germany will accept it, we also hope they are going to accept uh, age. I mean, they are going to accept family because you don't expect someone, a skilled worker, to travel to your country without going uh, with the wives and children. It doesn't make sense. So I'm sure the government will also want to consider the people with their family, immediate family. So. So let's wait for them and let's see what they are going to come up with. But I'm sure they might they are going to consider skilled workers that also have their family to join uh, them. You understand? So and also let's talk about this one is the most important one, which is the language barrier. What are they going to take? Are they going to say, oh, you must have so so language certificates, or you don't need it? I'm sure majority of Germans speak German. You understand? Majority. Let it, Germans speak German. So, and some of them can speak English, but they still prefer to communicate in German. So, this language barrier will also uh, be, also be, is going to be considered. So, so that means if you are not yet enrolled to German language and you want to travel to Germany, you want to benefit from jobs coming up and the one available, go and enroll now start learning german language now you are going to use it you there is nothing you have so many ways to there are so many pathways to be in germany if you can speak german we have a fry village which is uh, like a volunteer you can travel to germany through that we have the hospital where you can go and learn after the learning then you get a job we have a job seeking you understand? So you have education. There are so many ways to travel to Germany. So your German language will never be a waste. You understand? So if you learn German language and you pass the exam very well, I'm sure it will never be a waste. So there are so many ways you are going to use your German language. So enroll to German language course now. You understand? Make sure you are enrolled today. We have a language center. Like I said, we take courses online and we take courses uh, offline i mean physical class so but if you are far to us you can always enroll online we are going to teach you train you everything you want to learn about german language will be taught and then you will be amazed at the end of the day so make sure you enroll to german language. if you have your younger ones in university they are just graduating you have a uh, secondary school kids or you have people that they don't even know what they want to do for now enroll them let them learn this language. By the time they finish the language, there are so many opportunities around they can take, uh, they can use to migrate to Germany. And there are also one coming up. So if you also if you are also the one working and you want to migrate, you are planning to migrate to this country, enroll uh, for German language, and you are going to learn a lot. And then you are going to write a German certificate, uh, German exam have the german certificate by the time you have a german certificate so what are you talking about you'll be able to use it so let's look at what they can think but i think the normal uh certificate the house building require is b2 before it was b1 but now they are requesting for b2 
So that means you have to learn German from A1, A2, B1, and B2. That's the fourth stage. So by that fourth stage, you can write your B2 exam, pass your B2 uh, exam, and show them the certificate. And if you can have B2 German, oh, hot cake, you are going to enjoy it. Oh, yeah, yes, because you are going to speak German more than anything. You can do so many things in German if you are able to uh, do B2. So B2 is as important as anything. So And it's going to help this your job uh, seeking uh, a visa or if you want to migrate as a skilled worker. So I'm not saying there are no job that where they speak English, but the majority speak German. You understand? Even for you to ask for water or for direction, you are going to need to speak German. You will need to speak German. So it's better you start learning the language now and then so that it will benefit you. So you can enroll your kids, you can enroll your sister, you can even enroll yourself, like I said. So those are the things. Uh, so, and uh, like I said, the German government, they really need people to come, skilled workers, not just people people that can actually work in different sectors so they are lacking these people and they need people to fill the gap so another advice uh, to the german consulate is uh, to german uh, organization is to make sure they improve uh, their uh, staff strength like they said uh, that they want to improve their uh, staff strength let them improve their uh, staff strength Instead of people waiting for eight months, uh, six months to get appointment, let people get appointment easily. Why people can get appointment easily, your country will be attractive to people. So a lot of people will want to come to Germany. A lot of people will want to come and do whatever you want them to do in your country. But if, for example, somebody wants to travel and then you have to wait for appointment for eight, six, seven, nine months a year, it does not, I don't think it's okay. So try to work on this work on this let appointments be easier for people to get so once people can get appointment they know that oh the only thing obstacle is for me to learn the language let me learn the language i'm skilled so and i'll get appointment go for my interview then travel i think it will be very easy and beneficial uh for the german government so i advise the german government i advise the consulate to work in hand with their government to make sure the appointment is available. There are a lot of people that want to work in your country. So, but you have to make it attractive to people. If it is not attractive, they will go elsewhere. You understand? So, you know, for, let me use Nigeria, for example. We have so many young people. In Africa, generally, we have young people and they are looking for opportunities outside their continent. So, if you make your country attractive to people, they will come. So, this advice uh goes to german government make your country attractive uh let it be less cumbersome for people to get appointment uh to get their visa and then uh you are going to gain more from uh, what is going on uh in this uh traveling process so let me uh, remind you again if you if you are a returning subscriber you are a returning uh subscriber watch this comment like you can email us, you can call us, you have our numbers on your screen, call us, send us a mail, we are going to respond to you, okay? Then, if you are new, kindly subscribe. So, when you subscribe, follow us. If you have a question, you can also respond to, the, uh, to this video, we are going to answer you. You can also call, you have our numbers on the screen, call us, we are going to respond to you. You can also send mail. So we have our email address there, text us, and we are going to respond to you. So like I said, the German government, they are now learning on the point-based system, the one that has been successful in Canada. So, and they are also trying to see how they can copy this. But before they can do that, they need to learn very well. They need to implement it in a, situation, in a way that will benefit them and also benefit the people that uh, they are going to uh, come into work. And you know, Germany is a country that respects the right of workers, everything, the, everything in time of government uh, system, they are one of the top uh, governments in terms of um, efficiency, uh, in terms of uh, uh, GDP, human rights, and everything. So 
they respect people a lot and they don't do something that will affect the people working in the system so that's the good thing about the german system so the only thing is they need they need to make the traveling to germany to be less cumbersome for example getting the appointment should be very easy for people so that uh, you are going they are going to benefit uh, a lot from this uh, immigration thing they are trying to create so by the time this whole thing we have the clearer vision of what and how it's going to look like we are still going to come here again to explain to you to tell you what and the thing you need to do how are you how you are going to benefit from this you are going to explain everything to you so that you will benefit from this so thank you share it to your people let them uh subscribe to our channel let them like let them comment and i'm sure you are enjoying it i can see that a lot of people are watching the videos uh liking and comment i'm sure that you are liking this one so i remain like one thank you so much bye